I'm here in Alberta, Canada with Kelly and Rennie Semple of South Paw Outfitters. This hunt has been an epic experience. Cold temps, blowing snow, and close encounters with muleys, moose, and giants of the north. I'd like to send out a warm thank you to their guides, their whole establishment, great hospitality, and what an experience to take a buck of a lifetime. Steven, it's been awesome to have a client like you because you you bring to Alberta what we work all year long getting ready for and your preparedness both mentally and physically when you get into the stand and a buck like this appears, you get the job done and that's important to us. So congratulations on like a great year. I'd like to thank year. you guys very You're much. Welcome. You, you guys have made my, you've made something I've dreamt for my whole life and when a, when a deer makes 20 grown men cry, I think that's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a great day. Rennie came in this morning, uh, one of the clients that shot a moose. Uh, as you mentioned yourself, we see mule deer, moose, whitetail, coyotes. One of our clients saw a cougar. I mean, Alberta really is a, a place that has a huge abundance of species. Uh, there is an opportunity for combination hunts here that uh, that is unequaled anywhere else. And so uh, it's just a great place to come and spend time and get an opportunity to be with wildlife and, and the things that you get to see yeah. here is really cool. I'd agree. I tell you, this is my first time in Alberta, my first time with Southpaw. And there won't be one year that I'm not back here with a bow, with a gun, hunting whitetail moose or muleys. This is, this is the place to hunt. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank no you. This is awesome. Well, like, like you said, or Kelly said, we've seen people cry from missing. Not too many cry from actually getting them. Here did we awesome. cry? That's awesome. <laughs> That's oh awesome. man, you just you know you come, you come on a hunt, you come north, and everyone says there's giants, but you don't realize what they have until you're holding 197 inches in your hand. What are you gonna do for a mount? Full body. Awesome. You gotta, you gotta, a buck like this, like Rennie said, it's, this is something that you cherish this deer and you do everything and you try to show everybody the state that he was in before you harvested him and that's what hunting's all about, you know? You and the area where you were, obviously you saw a lot of the sign where he's been working the, the trees and he's been, yes. you know, obviously he's got a line there and he's he's been a dominant buck in this area for a yeah. long time and, and he, there's a lot of marks on his headgear that show his presence there. Exactly. Watch my, my new uncle Steve who took me to his, you know, the land, the area we were hunting, we kept finding these trees that he'd get into and they were, they were just this big around but snapped. And it was just crazy. Well, now that we see everything with the width, and this hook, you know, and that's exactly how this buck worked trees. He couldn't get out of the tree when he was in it, so he just broke them off. He's and, got, yeah. he's got a broken tine here. He's broke off here. He's got kickers everywhere. I mean, he's just a, he's a character buck. No matter what the numbers are, this is a buck, oh, of, a lifetime, buck of a lifetime. You got the job done, so yeah, congratulations. You Thank you. Thank you to everybody. This is just, you know, you can't put words to express something like this. I believe you will put words into it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what?